This design has been purchased from embroideredlibrary.com and is in the DST format. I would like to stitch it out at my machine, however I notice from the size here in the lower right corner that it is too large to stitch in one position. So I'm going to have to slice it into two or more positions to fit into a multi-position hoop. So the first thing I need to do is go to the Buzz Tools menu and select Convert Design Type and select the format I wish to convert it to. I'm going to select the PES, click OK, and it has selected the smallest hoop possible because it does not fit in any of the single position hoops. So I can change that to a multi-position hoop by going to the View, Hoop Properties menu, and using the scroll bar to select the super long giant hoop at all in the vertical position. When I click OK, it centers the design in space in the hoop and it asks me where I want to move the stitches in time. So I need to tell the machine when to stitch out the selected stitches. So I have to slice the design into two pieces. These red flags here at the end are the positions on the hoop. You can click on each one of the empty hoop flags and it shows you where it will stitch at the machine at that point. So I can see that in the A position part of my giraffe will fit and also in the C position. So I will only need to use these two hoops. Looking at this, I notice that if I were to split this, the neck off this design of this uh, giraffe, that will easily fit into one hoop position. And in the C hoop position, the smaller giraffe will fit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on this section. I'm going to select my slice tool and the way that this tool works is that the very first time I click it puts an anchoring position. Then my next click is to designate how, where I would like to split the design. So if I click on the second time it extends the line throughout the, the dashed line that is how it's currently going to slice this design. I can click again to customize this slice and I'm going to go exactly with the width of the, um, the direction of the stitches and I'm going to slice around these extra hearts because they do not need to be segmented. And when I get to the end of my selection or if I would like to slice it, I can either double click or hit the enter key on my keyboard. That brings up a dialog box which asks if I would like to insert needle points along this slice to avoid a gap. Yes, I would like to do that because these are joined and if I don't there will be a gap of stitches here. The next option is whether I want it to feather or not. For this example, I will not choose to feather the design, so I will click OK. And it has sliced the design right across the neck evenly with the stitches. It has done that in space, and in time it has segmented out these stitches so that I can easily select and move them by dragging and dropping them into the hoop position that I had decided they would go into. Now I can double click on the rest of the stitches here by putting my mouse key, uh, my mouse cursor and double clicking. Then I click hold, drag and drop them into the C position hoop. Let's zoom out by clicking on the minus key and you'll see that the bottom section is, will be stitched out in the C position and in the A position we will stitch out the top half of the giraffe. And if you use your template in the buzz edit in that multi-position hoop, these two sections will line up completely.